Hello everyone and welcome back to War of Harmony 4. Turns out I was supposed to check a note on the top left uh, room over here. That's what I was supposed to do. Oh, and before I forget, I did a bit of grinding before starting this video. Uh, Rarity, Pinkie Pie and Trixie are now all level 12. Rarity learned a new skill, Shadow Dance, which is the strongest possible multi-target melee strike in the game. So I think Rarity's already learned how all her skills, except maybe one last one left. Maybe? Because someone said uh, the ponies can get up to level 25 in this game. Maybe as far as they can, but uh, whatever. Uh, no other skills with the other ponies, though. I'm trying to avoid the spider, because I don't want to fight it. Someone recommended that I become so powerful that I can three shots the spiders. that take forever. I'm going to deal with whatever grinding I have to do to defeat whatever bosses I have to defeat. Anyway, we have to check this note right here. This completely inconspicuous note I didn't even notice the first time. And that's not, like, uh, noticeable in basically any way. I guess some people could notice it, but it's easy to miss. In in games like NetHack or The Elder Scrolls, it'd be fine to make objects like this that you should check uh, inconspicuous because there's probably multiple ways you can do you can use to actually progress with the story, quote unquote. In games like this that are extremely linear, making the object completely inconspicuous, very bad idea. Oh my goodness, 113 floors. Chemistry Wayne. Three hours, huh? Three hours of grinding. But then he ran out of magic points. Oh, boo goodness. So this is what it is, huh? The creator didn't want us to check the other rooms because uh, there would be notes there. And because of that, uh, it would screw up the like uh, progression of the checking that things off. And he was too lazy to actually make uh, multiple dialogue choices. I mean, not dialogue choices, but dialogues depending on which uh, notes you encounter first. Seriously, three shotting those spiders? That would take forever for me to grind uh, up to that level. It takes like 10 hits to defeat them as I am currently. At the very least, 10 hits. And really? There was a spider there? What bothers me about uh, this place is that it's the same two enemies every time and the enemies uh, have no strategy beyond hit harder than the enemies from the area before. It's exceedingly boring. Now we can go here. And there's a note there that we have to check, probably. I'll check the other stuff, though. Merlin is born. It's a play. And what about this? Wait, what? Oh, my goodness. I, I, I suppose this is supposed to be Arthurian, not Orthurian. Also, the shadow effects are improperly layered. I get the effort, I appreciate the effort, but uh, if it, the shadow effects are going to look like this, uh, then I wouldn't really bother with them or paste them into the background so they don't uh, appear that way. A note lay inside. Wait, wait, he found a grimoire, but someone else found it first? What? Oh, I see. Uh-huh. What? So it's Luna? I think? Uh, I'm not sure what's going on with this story. Like, we're... Th this game is so confusing. Like, when the hell does it take place in the show? Which, which room am I supposed to go to? Then where the hell is my boomerang? Uh, probably check the thing in the back, maybe. Hmm. Stupid spiders. Seriously, you could tell the creator just didn't care about this area's uh, like uh, enemies. Just made one enemy, gave it like you have to fight two in one battle, and. Pretty much uh, spam it everywhere. Anyway, here's what Shadow Dance does is.
It's actually even more powerful than the uh, Assassin Dagger, whatever. Assassin Edge. So there's pretty much no reason to ever use Assassin Edge now because, uh, well, actually, no, uh, critical hits from Assassin Edge probably deal more damage, but even so, Shadow Dance, uh, it's actually worth using. There was a strange glitch back there. If in case you guys haven't noticed, uh, Rarity still had her like a critical uh, power up from a uh, last fight at the beginning. So basically, if you had a fight uh, with uh, Rarity powered up with Wrath, then she'll actually keep the upgrade until next fight. That's what I have to do. Chemistry puzzle. Oh, and let me guess, I have to go back up there, right? Can I flee? No, I cannot flee. I can never flee. Jeez. Can't get enough of these spiders. They're not totally incredibly annoying or anything. Anyway, gotta go back up here. Can I avoid this spider? Move out of the way, please. Okay. It's because their hitboxes are actually pretty big. That's an issue. Anyway, chemistry puzzle. Probably, yeah, I have to check these things, I bet. What? Uh. So I'm still leaving these alone. Okay. Yeah, I already read this. Okay, so apparently I think I already, like, I picked up some of the bottles. Maybe? I don't know. I, I, I checked the bottles of chemicals. I think something happened that it was uh, what I was supposed to do. And dang it, I didn't want to fight. Level 13 for Rarity and level 13 for Trixie. Fair enough. No real reason for that, though. Okay, I don't want to fight any more of the spiders, but uh, there's one in the way. It's out of the way now. Okay, it's not letting me uh, do whatever I was supposed to do. Let's go back. Can't get enough of these spider fights. As long as I end up uh, accidentally checking a thing twice. Oh, that's what I was supposed to do. Check that thing. Okay, now I have to go back up uh, to the corner to learn uh, the chemistry. That's what I was supposed to do first. Actually, I have to learn chemistry before making use of it. Completely restore all my stuff because why not? I don't want to do any more fights with these spiders. At all. Their hitboxes are huge. It's, that's why I keep fighting them, accidentally. Hmm, I'm guessing if you're... If you're here without uh, Trixie, uh, this scene is a bit different. Really? Oh, oh my god. They introduced this element. For, for, oh God, I don't even want to talk about it. This game is so irritating. Introduces plot things out of nowhere for shock value. Tries too hard to be even 
decently grim dark. Can't even be bothered to make a decent uh, generic enemy fight or boss battle for uh, whatever. Whatever. Seriously, Pinkie Pie was just joking, and uh, the creator takes that uh, dialogue uh, and it uh, treats it like a serious uh, plot point, or like a serious uh, background reveal or something like that. I I don't I can't even speak Koreanly right now. It was so stupid, like these spider fights. Just go in here and do whatever's in here. Seriously, one, one cutscene ago, the game was being super uh, depressing for Rarity, and now the game, Pinkie Pie, is still being treated like Pinkie Pie from the actual show. Huh. <laughs> Nah, it's not, it hasn't been long enough as far as I'm concerned. Burn them or leave them? Hate the spiders. Burn it. Yeah, burn all the spiders. The game apparently didn't like my choice. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I figured. It's a slightly bigger spider than before. What did you know? Well, time to fight a boss. Probably as generic as they get. Or maybe it act it's actually super strong and it's going to defeat me really easily. Nah, it seems to be pretty generic. Alright, I had to interrupt myself right there because uh, someone was doing a phone call. Anyway. There was a nifty attack that happened a few moments ago, but uh, I wasn't able to comment on it because the phone was ringing. Yeah. Uh, didn't seem to be that big of a deal, though. In fact, let's just, let's just say it right here. These boss fights, this, this game's engine, it's secondary to the story the, the creator is trying to tell. And the story he's trying to tell is not very good. What am I saying? It's bad. It's just bad. So many missteps. So many topics brought up uh, without care that uh, they should have. Because they're sensitive topics. Not stuff you just bring, um, bring up to, to make this story more dramatic. For no reason at all. It's like uh, one of the people, my commenters uh, said in the previous video. It's like playing part four, no, reading part four of a fanfic and part one, two, and three uh, don't exist. This is assassinage right now. See, didn't even need to use Rasp because I uh, already got lucky and did two critical hits at the same time. Yeah, this fight is a whole lot easier than uh, compared to the uh, Nightmare Moon fight. Then again, it was it was an option for us to do the Nightmare Moon fight uh, before going through this uh, place right here. If there's one thing I can praise this game for, is that it does give you choices. It's just that, on an overall scale, this just isn't very good. The choices uh, don't I don't feel involved. Now it's a good time to use Wrath. It's also a good time to use Magic Water on both of these two. Eh, Pinkie Pie will heal from now on while Verdi, she's going to Assassin Edge, dealing tons of damage. And Trixie, you're pretty much uh, stuck on Ice Duty all the time. Uh, what else can I say about this game? I, I honestly, I'm kind of concerned not doing like the multiple more playthroughs after I'm done with this one. 
Just because this game, I kind of want to say, doesn't deserve it. But also, as I said last video, this is a, a public service I'm doing. Playing this game so you guys don't have to. And apparently there's going to be a part two. Whatever. Offering of Moon, get. Level five, Magic Attack Jam and Party Cannon for Pinkie Pie. Oh, goodness. So, let me guess. Uh, me doing that uh, burn burn all the eggs choice gave me like a minus five uh, in terms of uh, reputation. Yeah, I agree with Pinky right here because... Uh, Part 4 of a fanfic. Yep. <laughs> uh, so much garbage. Now that we have the offering of the moon, that means we only have to get the offering of the sun now, I guess. Maybe. I, s I suppose uh, if we hadn't... Uh, Burn all the eggs. We could have uh, done the the thing with uh, the spider more peacefully, probably. And the spiders all still here. Great. <sighs> I'm expecting one more moral choice, but uh, if after like five minutes there's nothing that comes up, uh, I guess I'll just stop the video as it is. No polls or anything. I was, I was really looking forward to playing this game when I first started this playthrough. Because uh, of the whole moral choice system and whatnot. It's just that the story itself is, is so garbage and the uh, elements introduced into these ponies and from an E-rated show don't, they're not, they don't, they're, no, they're, they're not cohesive. They don't actually fit the characters. It's like the creator just tried to touch upon every game dark thing he could. Oh. Well, I just saved, so... Don't know why the game just decided to offer me that. What happens if I go over here? No reason to go this way. Well, no reason to not go this way either, Rarity. Ah, uh, but... It was... I'm kind of, uh... Oh, man. Whatever. Well, I guess I'm not into this video yet. Now I have to go over here a bit. Yep. What? So I'm guessing this part uh, was uh, more difficult uh, in an original version. Uh, I guess this is supposed to be exciting, but I uh, don't know. I guess it's okay. Yeah, I, went, I knew it was a uh, north that I was supposed to go. It's here. Jeez. So basically, a thrilling uh, escape sequence here that happened for no reason at all. Like, uh, why is this happening right now? Does the game explain this? No, of course not. Uh, I don't even want to bother. Uh, what happens if we teleport? Well, we're back here. That's the long... Okay. So we can't go back there anymore. Really? Did I do the right thing here? I thought I was supposed to go into portal, not uh, this uh, teleporter. This thing here. But, given how linear this game is, uh, I'm gonna guess I did the right thing. I, I suppose if you don't escape in time, uh, it's instant game over. No, I'm not quick traveling. Because there's absolutely nothing to do up until the Trees of Harmony, right? Is that what you're saying, game? That must be what it's saying. 
tons of areas, but uh, they're all meant to only go in, uh, like, lead in one path. With the exception of the moral choices and fighting a boss before another, game design is not very strong here. I'm gonna make a save, just in case, on file 7. Still want to see if there's a moral choice coming up. Huh, you know what? I kind of want to fight these ghosts just to see how powerful I am now. The music still tries to make them super dramatic, but... Uh... Yeah, I can pretty much instant kill them now. Well, a proof of how powerful we are now at this point. And actually, I gained a level for doing that. Fair enough. Now we can head east. Weren't these two fighting a few uh, a few moments ago? Consistency. This game does not have. Uh, well, next time I'm going to be going to the east here. Probably the last area of this game too before it, it suddenly ends. For no reason uh, to set up for part two. Uh, I just I was I was so looking forward to playing this game when I was like starting. And it's it's I don't know this 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 video right here playing this uh, game uh, in this video today. Not in it's completely ruined all the uh, immersion I have for it. The game creator just wants to introduce as many grim dark elements as he can. And doesn't follow up on them ever. Except maybe for a very few. Because you go from Pinky arbitrarily saying the R-A-P-E word to Rarity randomly angsting about it to them burning a bunch of spider eggs and for some reason they, it's not explained. They actually argue about it after they do the deed to Rarity actually like selflessly pushing Pinky and Trixie out of danger only for her to, do have, to, to have to do an escape sequence out of nowhere and Look, it's just like one overly glorified scene after the other. Like, super, one is super dramatic, followed by one that's super dark, and followed by one that's super epic, and... Look, how about some freaking consistency, tabarnak! Shit! <sighs> See y'all tomorrow. I think I'll try to finish this game by next video, to be honest. Hope y'all have a nice day.